there are actually a couple reasons why people will develop nasal obstruction after rhinoplasty. And one of them involves the actual over-resection of the cartilaginous structures. So if we look here at the nasal tip, which has lower lateral cartilages, some surgeons in an effort to narrow the nasal tip will over-resect these to make a very refined look. Uh, but what that does over time, as scar contracture continues, is cause an instability to those cartilaginous structures, and we call that an external nasal valve collapse. So that kind of takes care of this area right here, and then we go to the middle nasal vault, which has the internal nasal valve, and that's more of the internal breathing of the nose and how open the airway is uh, in the middle portion of the nose. And if that is not identified as narrowed preoperatively, and structural cartilage grafting is in place there, that too will lead to progressive nasal obstruction in the postoperative period.